this is really the one I like to focus on, is the embryology, the beginning of a human being. Who knew, even a hundred years ago, what the egg inside of the mother looks like at the moment it's fertilized? Nobody. Nobody even thought about that. Because it's microscopic. It's not something you can see without a microscope. Yet in the Quran, it's clearly described 1400 years ago when Allah says, Alaqa, the one who created you from an Alaqa. Those were the very first of the words that came in the Quran to make a big emphasis, not only then, but even up until today. Yes or no? Think about it. Now, if you know Arabic, it's, it's amazing when you think about this. Recite in the name of your Lord, who is the one that created you. I use the word halak because he's the creator. Created you from an Allah. Now, in the Maurid or Arabic dictionary, you'll find what is the significance of this word alaq. Alaq can mean a leech. That's something that attaches itself to you and sucks out the blood. Kind of like a New York lawyer. And <laughs> that was safe. I didn't think you had any New York lawyers over here. <laughs> anyway. Okay, 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 get back on the subject. Another, yeah, this is the meaning though, it's a leech. Another one is something that clings. It doesn't let go, it really clings. So you've got a refrigerator magnet at home, those are alakas, alakas, because they cling, okay? And then the third meaning is the one most applicable, it's a blood clot, blood clot. When you get a little boo-boo and you get a little bit of blood there and it clots up, that's an alaka. All three of these are the exact description of what a baby looks like at the moment of conception in the womb. First thing that happens when it's fertilized, it causes a rupture that attaches and punctures the wall of the uterus, fixes itself there, attaches and clings and makes a blood clot and guess what it looks like? Exactly like a leech. Now it's on our website, you can take a look for yourself and see. Amazing? What can I tell you? And these are the first words that are coming. Ikra bismi rabbi kaladi khalaq khalaq insana min alaq Recite in the name of your Lord, the one that has created you from an alaq. After that, we find other places in the Quran where Allah talks about the zygote from the time of this conception and through the various stages that it goes. Mudgha, an Arabic word, meaning a chewed lump, like a wad of chewing gum, mudgha. And this little thing that started out looking like a leech, all of a sudden started looking like somebody was eating it and chewing it up. This is another stage. Then it says, in shape and out of shape, and suddenly you start seeing it looks like a little head there. All of a sudden you're able to say, maybe that's going to be a human being. I don't know. And then some weird shape comes about it again. And, nah, not really. And then, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. It's starting to look like a kid again. Stage by stage. And Allah says that. Stage by stage. And he's talking about the layers of darkness that the baby is in. These separate layers. And now today they're telling us, you know what? That's exactly how many layers there are that the baby's in. Whoops. The more you read it, the more you think, huh, boy, this guy was lucky at guessing this stuff. Or you come to the conclusion that maybe, just maybe, it really was from Allah. 